today is the day that we say goodbye to this beautiful bus that was our first home. We bought it last year, fully converted it, and now it's a new home to somebody else. So this is what it looks like when you are building a bus, you just sold your old bus, and you live in a motel. Now not only do you have all of your stuff, but you have all of your parts and everything you own right here in your room. What are we doing? Good morning, everybody. Today, we are starting right back where we left off last week, doing some bus build, building the bed frame. And um, last week when we started, we actually kind of built our bed frame a little too high. So we have to make a few adjustments, but now we're on the right track. So today, not only are we building buses, but we are also doing a photo shoot. Tanya's doing all her poses now. Yeah. These guys are killing it for us. Big up, guys. Uh, that's right. So yeah, we'll just kind of get some footage of this. A little something different than we normally show you. second batch of clothes. We are on to put on some dressier clothes now and finish up with our photo shoot. It's been a super cool experience, haven't done one in our so-called professional careers, but uh, pretty cool. All right guys, we just finished up with the photo shoot and we did a little awkward dieting this week to look our freaking best for the photo shoot. So now we are starving. So we're gonna catch something to eat and something to drink. And we'll get back to you. Okay, everybody, we are back in the bus. Had a, what are you doing? Making sure I can't hear anything. <laughs> uh, back to building the bed frame today. We got quite a bit of progress made already. You can see building this bed frame and I wanted to take a minute to pause and just share with you kind of some feelings that I have going on right now. Um, you know, building this bed frame, it really brings me back to last year when Dustin and I first bought our first school bus and we spent all winter long trying to convert it into our little tiny home on wheels. We had no idea what we were doing. And it was the first time that we had actually built something together. Um, during that time, we really, we grew, we learned, um, we created something beautiful together. It was 
it had some challenging times, but it had a whole lot of fun times as well. And so getting to do this now, it's really, you know, bringing up those old memories and it really makes me cherish the time that we're spending together, learning and growing together and building this new bus into our new tiny home on wheels. Good morning, everybody. Last night we left off with working on our bed and we got quite a bit done yesterday. I should say probably actually Dustin got quite a bit done yesterday as I had to take care of some other things. Um, but yeah, so today our plan is to finish up this bed and get everything kind of nice and secure and move on to the next thing. <laughs> well guys so we've got a bed check this out it's nice and secure sturdy it took us two days to do it only because yesterday we we kind of had a weird day with the photo shoot yeah um but Which yeah it was fun we had a good time with the photo shoot it was fun yeah um, as you can see, we have some makeshift curtains that we uh, put up today. So we have a trip that's coming up in a couple weeks. Yeah, plus right? our stuff's always in here. We just like you to not be able to look into our bus. Yeah, keep honest people honest. Sure. Um, so we went to Walmart and got some king size sheets and shredded them. Shredded them. <laughs> and, with that. and so now we have these nice curtains to um, provide a little bit of privacy and then of course give us some more security um, when we go to sleep in the bus in a couple weeks. Sure. Yeah, we ordered a mattress, so the bed part is pretty well checked off, but it's also pretty righteous. So I've finished with the garage and the garage floor. As you can see, the garage floor is completely done. I've now trimmed it. So we're all the way up to the side of the bed. But then today I got our propane tank installed. It's able to pull out when it's time to fill up. And then we've also got back in this space, we have a water tank coming and we will put our water for our drinking and dishes and basically our fresh water tank will be underneath the bed as well in the garage. Yeah. So. A lot of stuff accomplished really in the last two days. Um, we did start peeling off some more of the decals outside. Um, basically, you know, we got to get it ready to paint. And so Dustin's about to show you what we got going on. Woo. Mint green. It's actually called. Modern mint. Mm, where do you even see it? Um, oh, right there. Yeah. Modern mint is the color. And we decided to go with this color because if you've seen in our previous video, we had two different colors. There was a lighter blue and I think it was called ocean mist. And then there was the modern mint. The ocean mist looked really good in can. Yeah, the can lid's awesome. Like Absolutely. it catches your attention immediately. But when we did the, the spray test on the bus, the green actually turned out better. Right, like it popped more than the blue did. Yeah, so we decided to go with the modern mint. Um, both of the colors, we really liked them. I mean, they're really close in comparison, yeah. really. I think they're on the same spectrum. Mm -hmm. We actually have a speaker that we were kind of going for in color. It's up in the room. Oh, yeah. And like, it's literally between the two, mm -hmm. but this one's the closest to it. And so, yeah, we're going to go with modern mint. But yeah, now we're sanding and prepping and peeling I'm, peeling decals which hurts the fingernails yeah and i'm yellow <laughs> but, from sanding yeah so i mean we still have quite a bit of stuff to do um obviously this isn't going to happen in a short period of time i mean 
This is the first time we've actually tore everything down to the steel and are building it literally from the ground up. Yeah, and it's fun. It is fun. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, it, it's, you know, it takes me back to when we started building the first bus because we didn't know what we were doing. And still don't. Still don't. But I mean, we kind of have a better idea. Definitely a lot of planning. Mm -hmm. So like planning for the water tank to fit and ordering the water tank that we need mm -hmm. and planning for the propane tank to go where it's gonna go. And then we got a couple ideas for our gray water tank actually being outside the bus. And then we've got a couple ideas for our batteries, uh, both bus batteries and our solar batteries being outside mm -hmm. the bus but secure so no one can steal them. So it's all kind of a, a game. It's all kind of a, but I don't want everything inside. I want no. I want the room inside to be our room for storage and things like that. The living space, yeah. not, not storing the stuff that's not really that kind of stuff. Um, and I guess we didn't really inform you, but the white bus did sell. She gone. She is gone. So um, now we literally have everything we own either in this bus or in our motel room, yep. which means like in a week and a half, it all has to be in here. <laughs> so yeah. our life is a little bit of chaos right now. Sure. Um, you know, we're dealing with it and you know, we, we bring it on ourselves, and sure, we're yeah. fully, fully okay with it. Fully responsible. <laughs> fully responsible. <laughs> Thank so, you. um, yeah, it's, it's kind of a challenge in a way because things are just kind of scattered everywhere and trying to figure out where things are and, and what we need and and all that mess. Um, yeah, it's it's fun. We're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. So we're just going to do a couple more things. Um, I've been sanding the handicap stickers because they don't peel at all. Um, and I'm finishing the, the school bus decals, which it's very hard. I mean, it comes off in little teeny tiny strips. I sure. mean, it would probably be easier if we had a heat, heat gun, gun, but I guess I'm just kind of cheap and don't want to buy a heat gun just for that purpose. Um, but we might yet. Cause yeah, cause we, we still have the front. Yeah, and the yellow tape. Yeah, yeah just, we never know. just kind of figuring things out as we go. Um, definitely not experts at this, but definitely not afraid to get our hands dirty. That's the truth. Um, but yeah. That's what we got going on. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is this where we tell them to hit the road, Jack? I think so. Yep. We do have a, a, a date night that we're doing tonight. What um, are we doing? We ordered some barbecue. And beers, beers, barbecue, and... Movie, maybe. Movie night. That's kind of our typical date night, honestly. Um, you know, we're not the have to go out to eat and make reservations. Sometimes we do that, sure. but and a lot of times we, especially after we've worked really hard all day, especially in this heat, we like to just chill in our room with some good food that we enjoy and each other's company. A lot of the reason too is, excuse me, I'm exhausted. A lot of the reason too is our bus is not like completely mobile because <laughs> we got literally stuff everywhere. Yeah. So I didn't necessarily want to go to a restaurant tonight and I wasn't going to pay for an Uber. Um, but yeah, so going to have some barbecue, little date night, little me and her time mm -hmm. and hit the road, Jack, hit the road, Jack, but we want you to come back. We, we want do. you to subscribe. We want you to like our video. We want you to tell us exactly what it is you think about it. Um, what more you would like to see? Sure. Any comments? Any, any anything? Feedback yep. Is... Give us a little feedback. Let us know what we got going on, how we can do better, or how we can do worse. Like I. Yeah, I mean, whatever. We're up for anything. So, so. <laughs> with that, as always, spread love. And God bless. Bye, guys. So after a week's worth of dieting, strictly and two crazy days of bus builds, we are on to date night. And I am here to tell you, it looks like we done did the date night. Mm -hmm. Now for a couple of beers and a movie. We're good to go. Pound it out. Heck yeah. So we got date night started. We picked a movie called Serenity. Just got it started. Got a couple of beers going, making some food for the week. 
And I come out of the bathroom to this. <sighs> She's doing a little face mask. What is it? It is a banana and some orange juice. Mix orange. it together, put it on your face, 10 minutes. Helps moisturize, brighten the skin, all sorts of good benefits. And no, natural. No, that's the day night I'm talking about. <laughs>